Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rochelle, this is Brampton Gardener, and today uh, we're gonna be dropping some more seeds. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my idea. So this is the tray that I talked about just the other day um, with my impatience in it. And you can see I've had no success with these two plants. Um, these are the prairie drop seed, uh, the nodding onion, and the salvia. So I did not get any germination on them last year either. This, well, this could be a salvia, maybe. I'll save that one, I think that's a salvia. Um, and then the dechondra, nothing's, nothing's happening there either. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm gonna remove all the cells that don't have anything, and I'm gonna transfer these plants over. Um, and then I can start my new seeds on here because the new seeds are gonna go on the heat mat and have some humidity domes on them. And these plants that I have along here are my cool flowers. So I do not want them anywhere near the heat mat um, because they're supposed to be getting ready to go outside in another, I don't know, few weeks, month, whatever. We'll see how they do. Um, so here's my snapdragons. I have the chervil. I only had one germinate. Uh, we have some dill some of my stalks, only two of the calendula, and then only like three of the saltine sunflowers. So I'm really disappointed in that, but hopefully they do all right. So I'm just gonna transfer the ones that are alive over to this tray, and then we'll be potting up, we'll be planting seeds uh, over here. Okay, so I'm done. <laughs> so you can see I moved, um, I have the straw flower here, I have the calendula here, I have the stalks here, dill, the little chervil here, and my snapdragon. So everything's sitting on this tray nicely now, and so I'm totally fine with that. Here the nodding onion and the prairie drop seed are both native plants to Ontario, and so I'm going to attempt to do those in the winter sowing containers because maybe they just needed to be, maybe they just needed some stratification, so. Oh, and then this little seedling, we're just gonna stick you right over here and you can, oops. And you can die with your family. All right. Uh, so yeah, so I have some seeds that we are going to get started today. Let me get my list. Where'd I put that? Uh, right here. So we are week 10. So anything that is week 10 and above that I haven't started yet, I'm going to be starting today. And that is, except for my canna lilies. Um, I need to get those nicked and put into water, but I haven't done that yet. Um, so that means today I'm going to be doing the heliotrope, living stun daisy, ornamental millet, verbena, coleus, and gumfrina. Now I have um, these three <laughs> verbena that sprouted. I have this other one here, but it looks like it died. Um, but the other one I had to go, remember I put it in the fridge? So it's been sitting in the fridge for the last two weeks. So we're gonna see if that, um, I mean, it didn't really need it apparently, but oh well, that's what we're doing. So I'm going, I'm gonna be doing um, all of that. So let me get my seeds out and we'll get started. All right, so today, we are going to start. I'm going to take my little tray and I'm going to make sure that I clean it out. There's no residual little tiny seeds from anything else in there. We learned our lesson in the last video. And then I'm going to start with the um, Coleus Kong Lime Sprite. Super excited about these. They're so pretty. So I bought, this comes with only 10 and they're pelleted so we're gonna grab our toothpick and I'm gonna start I'm gonna start right here in this corner so I'm gonna do a, I'll make sure not to do um, a, the other coleus right next to it so I can keep it straight I'll do another variety of flowers in between just so I don't get confused Come here. So these are very precious, so you gotta be very careful with them. So the other coleus I'm gonna be doing today is the Black Dragon. I also got it from Stokes, and that has 50 seeds. And then I'm probably gonna be doing the mix that I used uh, last year as well. But I'm not gonna put them right next to each other um, because I don't wanna worry about that. So we are gonna label it. So this is the and it's gonna go like this. What I'm gonna do, this only has 10 seeds. <laughs> so that works out really good. Okay. Mental millet, I'm very excited to try this as well. So. I don't think that's gonna work, they're too big. 
Now the larger seeds I will be pushing down into the soil a little bit more after with the toothpick. Worked out perfect. So that's the millet. And I have 10 of those as well. Yay! <laughs> I love it when things come together. Okay, so next up we're gonna do the other coleus. I'm gonna do a full tray of 20 of the black dragon. Black dragon. So what I ended up doing is I ended up doing the full tray, the full block, which was 20, and then I did two extra rows, so 28 of the black dragon. And that leaves me with 31 cells over here left to do with the regular coleus. So I'm going to see how much of this I have and I'm going to plant as much of it as I can because I absolutely love coleus and I plan on just planting it everywhere this year. So um, I can't have too many coleus seeds, right? I just don't know how many are left in here. But, oh, we got, we got plenty. Okay. Okay, so I ended up doing 32 of the rainbow mix just to finish out that row. And now I'm gonna start on this row over here and I'm gonna start from this side. Um, I'm gonna label it on this side. I'll probably be adding three more blocks of, or I'll, I don't know if I'll redo that one. I'll be adding three more blocks of soil blocks um, probably later today. So next up, I'm gonna try the um, heliotrope. Next up, we're gonna go with, um, do gomfrina. Let's see how many of these we have. Gomfrina. Okay, and then the last one I'm going to do the Livingston Daisy. full 20 on that. I'm going to hold off on the peppers because the peppers are going to take longer to sprout than probably most of these things. So I'm not going to put peppers on the same tray, which means I think I'm going to put more polka dot plants. It's Pink Splash Series and it is so far like the prettiest plant ever. Where is it? I started um, two, a row of them and I got um, four of them that have germinated are doing amazing. So the, these are the petunias. So these are the lime petunias. These are the photo finished burgundy. And then in here are my beautiful, beautiful pink polka dot plants. So I'm gonna start more of those seeds because I love them. All right, so there's my new tray, freshly planted. I am going to mist it very, very nicely with some water. And then I am going to stick it on a heat mat and um, in a dome so that gets nice and nice and stays nice and humid. So that's it for this week. This is uh, March 6th. So it's the very end of week nine. And I just started anything that was week 10 or above. So thanks for watching. <laughs> um, hopefully we'll see some germination um, next time I do a video. Bye.